Hello again, and welcome to the second part of the Team Fortana video series. Um, I'm sorry for the audio quality of the first one. Uh, it seems like my microphone didn't quite agree with uh, the recording software. I'm using a different microphone now. Hopefully, this is better. Um, anyway, let's get started. Today, I want to add uh, people and organizations to my team graph uh, in order to set up uh, relationships between tasks, projects, people, organizations, and so on. So that is uh, that is really important. So this is another, just a setup video. Um, we'll get into the actual teamwork a bit later. Let's get started. So now we want to talk about um, working with people and persons and organizations, because uh, in, a, in, in everyday work, you will have contacts uh, and it's really helpful to know a bit more about them. So let's start with defining a, a person tag um, here. And we'll, again, we'll keep it simple for now. A person has a name that's in the node name itself. The person is member of an organization. And we'll come to that in a minute. The um, person has an email address. Set that to be an email. And the person has a phone number. It, that is anything for now. And why not a Twitter? So that's all we need for persons. So Joe Doe, he's in uh, his email is Joe Doe at example.com his phone number is uh, plus 99112233 and his twitter handle would be something like um go go and here you see a problem when you tap the at sign Anna wants to create a tag you can escape out of that by just hitting escape and it will leave the at sign here so we've got person covered. Uh, let's go on uh, with organizations. We'll do Acme Inc., which is an organization. And an organization has uh, maybe a short code. And it has a URL, homepage, and uh, it will have a search node. We'll come to that in a second to show all the people. But we'll need to go back to the um, settings for persons. And now we can uh, say that the organization should be an organization of organization that allows us to make these data fields nicer. So Joe Doe. Um, is a member of Acme Inc. And Acme Inc., now we can go in and actually configure the search node. Um, create a search node, and we want to find the persons. And we run this once in order to set up the view. On a table, we don't really need the organization because we are in that organization. But um, the other things, email, phone number, Twitter, that looks great to me. Save that, uh, go back into query and add a field. The organization should be parent and done. And let's persons. Multiple people holding hands, that's fine. Persons, maybe even better employees, depending on where you are. So if we now open up Acme Inc, open the employees, we'll see Joe Doe here. If we create our next organization, um, Tana Inc, why not? Organization. Um, 
enter the URL, HTTPS, www.inc, shortcode might be Tana. There are no employees. Let's fix that. So now we have uh, Tana Inc. We need an employee. Let's take Stian. Let's tag him as a person and um, set his organization to be Tana. Email Stian at Tana Inc. Probably not his real email. I hope so. Phone number one two three four five, and his Twitter handle is so complicated that I can't remember it offhand. But you can see he's showing up in the Tana Inc. organization, so we're fine with that. So we have got person, people, and organizations. Let's set up the views for that. Find nodes with tag person as list and. Do the same thing. Find node tag organization as list. Um, configure them to tables. Uh, sort them by name. It's ascending. That looks good. Uh, organizations also tables. Um, sort them by name save them and let's have these called people and have these called organizations and both of these nodes then get to live move them to the home part, move this to, move that to Tom Video Home. You can see that they show up here in the, in the sidebar. And we can remove these references here to clean up things. Now, this is my, my structure so far to do with projects, person, and organization. I want to extend um, that with team members. So team member is a net new tag. And uh, the team member, myself, Jens Christian, as a team member. Um, because a team member is some has a couple of special fields in my use case. I'm extending from the person tag get the organization and the organization is um, in, in as a team member it's probably defaulted so let's say that I'm working at Acme and uh, I'll set that as a default content and I want a, a couple of other fields here uh, namely I want a Gmail mail address because I need that um, to make some lookups uh, based on the login information. So this is the, the email address that the person is using to log in to Tana for now, um, because I want to switch around from using users to using specifically team members. Um, so I can fill it in. You see Acme is already filled in. My email, um, now do I want to give you all my email address? Probably not. So I'm type that when I'm off screen, so you don't see it. Same for my phone number. What you can know is that I'm living in Switzerland and I have a mobile phone, um, so that's fine. This is uh, enough for now for the team members. Um, and of course, I can now like to a list of team members, if you look at uh, people here, I will show up as uh, being a at Acme Inc. I'm a team member. Um, I could also create a, a specific list that just shows team members, but we'll leave that for now. It's not that important. So far, we've done a lot of setup, uh, not really shown any teamwork. We'll change that in the next episode that I hope you will joining. You'll be joining me on that. See you around. See you next time.